is Kubrat Pulev coming to win? So this is right after the weigh-in. After they weighed in, Joshua looked over at Pulev, called him over. He came by to have that face-off. Looked like, hard to tell, but judging by their eyes, looked like they were smiling at each other, laughing a little bit, talking some shit. And then they slapped a high five and did some kind of weird fist bump. And Anthony Joshua walked away smiling, laughing to himself. And now they're going to ask him about that little exchange they had. Anthony says, the reporter, emotionally charged exchange or weighing or something like that. What sparked all of that? AJ is jogging his memory, touching his head, right? He's looking for his lines. I don't know. That's just how we are, isn't it? Oh, that shit was so fake. Anyway. If you're ages mandatory for four years, okay, and you got that weird pullout from one of the fights, and he fights Takam, who was, you know, on short notice. Takam, who, like, day notice or two-day notice. Takam was, you know, a backup for this fight should anything happen. And he happened to come into the fight in the best shape of his life by a big margin, as if, you know, he had a feeling that he was going to be fighting Anthony or something. I don't know. And then they had that shit fest of a fight between the two of them. I don't know where Takab seemed to be more concerned with headbutting Joshua than actually fighting. And... You know, Pulev has to have been, had to have been taking step-aside money, right? The IBF are pretty strict with enforcing their mandatories. So if Joshua doesn't want to fight him right now or it's not convenient for him or whatever reason, if Pulev presses the IBF, right, they're going to strip Joshua and he's going to fight for the vacant belt against somebody. And clearly Pulev didn't want that because Josh was the big payday, right? So he was taking step o step aside money, had to have been, for something like three, four years. From Anthony Joshua just getting older, Joshua getting better. You would think so anyway. Coming into his prime, learning on the job, right? The longer they wait to make this fight happen, the more... It favors Joshua. But Pulev was cool with that, right? I don't know. Maybe he had no choice. Maybe taking the step-aside money was... I mean, he was just basically making the living by fighting these eliminators. Um, I guess that's what they were. Or defending his little trinket that he had, his minor title, to Joshua's major title. I don't know. I don't I don't know the details exactly, but you know, once again, IBF is very strict in enforcing their mandatories. So Pulev just wasn't in a hurry to fight Joshua, I guess. He was content fighting these lower level opponents and getting step aside money from AJ and just I guess hoping for the big fight. To to get that big payday, right? Clearly, he was more interested in the money than the title. So, four years later, you think he's interested in the money or the title? Now that it's even, he has even less chance of winning this fight. And then you have Fury. They supposedly agreed to fight. 
So, you know, it's one of them fights. You got to get out the way before the big one where everybody gets paid, right? I, I just don't think Pulev is coming to win, guys. I really don't. And then, you know, once again, we have Bob Arum co-promoting a guy he didn't bring up like Sergey, right? That he didn't build up from the ground. Just signing a contract with some guy at the end of his career to co-promote him. Uh, while he also has Fury, and for him, Fury Joshua is the big money fight, right? <laughs> And then there's, just like with Sergey, some kind of whole trouble, court case, right? <laughs> and it just looks fake. The whole thing just looks fake, you know? I'd like to be able to sit down and, you know, break this fight technically because, you know, it could potentially be a pretty interesting fight. If Pulev is coming to win. But it just feels like it would be a waste of time. It's just difficult for me to get up for these fights, right? <sighs> yeah. How's the fight going to go? I don't know, man. But th how does Pulev win this fight? If he's there to win this fight, how does he win it? Not on the cards, right? So outboxing AJ, it makes no sense to do that, right? Stick a move and try to win rounds. That makes no sense. Winning rounds in any way, shape, or form makes no sense because he's not going to win them. He has to knock them out. He has to fight the same way he fought Klitschko, right? He came to win that fucking fight. Yeah, he could... Bullshit around with these lower level guys and get a decision and or stop them depending on, you know, how much they want to press him. He'll respond, but he'll save himself. He'll not, he won't give 100%. Uh, he'll just do what he got to do to beat those guys, get his money. But then when it came to an advance, right, or keep his mandatory position. But when it came to fighting Klitschko, we saw a different Kubrat Pulev, right? That was a Pulev who was taking the initiative and trying to win the fucking fight. And the only way he could against Klitschko, he wasn't going to get a decision. So if he doesn't come into this fight trying to do that to AJ, for me at least, that's going to mean he doesn't want to win the fight. Right? He got to take the fight to him, try to knock him the fuck out. It's happened before. Just like with Klitschko, right? Patterns. Good fighters, you know, they have heart, but they're also a little fragile. And if you could get them out of there, go for it. Because you ain't getting a decision. So, I guess we'll see what happens. But for me, this just looks like a formality, foregone conclusion. Um, and it just looks fake, man. The whole thing just looks fake. And Anthony Joshua is a shit fucking liar, basically. Shit liar. So, yeah. I just, that, that's all I basically wanted to communicate, right? Um, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope Pulev comes to win and tries, gives it his best, but... You know, the chances of him actually winning like that um, aren't too great, okay? I think mostly because of, you know, his age and so on and so forth. So, you know, if I feel that way, it's likely that he might feel the same way himself. And to me, it really seems like all he wanted was the Joshua payday. It didn't matter that it was going to be inconvenient for him, right? That's all that he was really after. A whole bunch of Joshua paydays from the looks of it. So, you know, it's one of them fucking fights. But I hope I'm wrong. <clears throat> but I hope I'm wrong and Kubrat Pulev proves me wrong, right? Comes to fight. 
whether he wins or not, that's a different story. I don't think he does either way. But if he comes to fight and tries to knock Joshua out, probably somewhat early, right? Yeah. Um, or uh, another scenario could be where he just stays away for the first six, right? And then goes to work hard, uh, hoping to take advantage of this questionable stamina of Joshua's, right? Could be. I mean, he did come into this fight in very good shape, light. So maybe that's that's what we're going to see. He's going to stay away, persevere, survive, and then go to work late. But at some point in the fight, and it has to make sense, right? At some point in that fight, he's going to have to try to take Anthony Joshua's fucking head off. And if he doesn't, then... He's not coming to win. I'm saying he's not, but I'm hoping I'm wrong. Right? Thank you for watching.